everyone, and since it's back to school time, I thought we'd talk about my gap year. Let's start at the beginning. Throughout school, I was never really someone who thought about their future a lot. I always figured that I would know what I wanted to do when the time came. Boy, was I wrong. By the time grade 12 came around, I realized that I had no idea what I wanted to do. Everyone was talking about all the programs they were going to, everything they were applying to, and there I was, not knowing what the heck was going on. It seemed that every five minutes I was changing my mind. I wanted to do one thing, then another, and then another, and I just didn't know what I wanted to do. When it came time to apply to university, I did, but I wasn't confident in my choices. There are a bunch of career paths that I could have taken that I know would make me happy, but I wanted something that I would be truly satisfied with, but I just didn't know what it was. So I applied to some colleges and universities and I got in, but I just wasn't sure if that's the route I wanted to go. Fast forward to when we were supposed to be accepting our offers, I had a bunch, like four or five, that I, I would be happy going to, but I just couldn't accept them. There was just something inside of me that was telling me to wait for the right thing. So that's when I decided I was gonna take a gap year. So I did. I decided that I was going to use the time to try and figure out what I wanted to do with my life. To get to know myself better. See, the issue with this was that by the time I decided to take a gap year, it was already June. And university and college applications start again in December or January. So I really didn't give myself enough time to figure it out. Nonetheless, I applied again for different things this time. I was happy with my choices, and at the very last second, I panicked and withdrew all the applications. I still felt like I didn't know myself enough to commit to something like that. I know that once you're at college and university, you can change what you're doing, but I'm someone that really likes to plan ahead and know exactly what I'm in for. To be honest, the rest of my year was pretty boring. All I did was work and spend all the money on something because I don't have any of it anymore. I only had a little bit of money saved, way less than I wanted, but hey, I wasn't going to school anytime soon, so what do I need it for? So then in April, I made my final decision. My gap year was going to become a gap two years. And with that, my best friend and I moved in together into this very apartment that I am in right now. By the way, living in an apartment by yourself without your parents paying for everything is really freaking expensive. Since then, I've been dedicating my free time to figuring my shit out. The bottom line is that school is there forever and there's no age limit on education. So you don't need to rush into anything. See, I want to do something with my life, like travel and see the world and have some fun before I'm in school and then having to get a job to pay off school and then meeting someone and then getting married and buying a house and having kids and then slowly declining to the abyss of death. Who knows, maybe I'll never want to stop. Maybe my gap year will turn into a gap life. To be honest, I feel like the pressure to go to university or college after high school is really unfair. Because we're what, 16 or 17 when we have to figure out what we want to do with our lives? I actually did a project in one of my classes, I think in 10th grade, where I basically went off on a huge spiel of how it's not fair that we have to choose our entire life at the age of 16. I got an A. The reason I was thinking about this is because I've been seeing everyone post online about how they're going back to school and they're showing their new dorm rooms and all that, and it made me really sad because I am someone that is a huge nerd that really, really likes school, and even though it was my choice not to go, it makes me sad that I'm not there. I just want to learn. So if you're like me and you have no idea what you're doing with your life, hit that like button, subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll see you next time.